Hey guys, this is 101R Smith, also known as Reggie Smith, and I'm here yet again to bring you a review for the Gunpla Network. This time I'm going to be taking a look at the Master Grade Gundam Exia Repair 2. Unfortunately, since this kit happens to fall in line with P Bandai, the box art is in itself a marvel to look at. It is a monochrome green with the Exia in the final shot or final slash pose of Gundam 00 in its final episode as it face off against the O Gundam. It's a nice little scene which I think is very iconic for the anime and looks good in model kit form. I just wish because this was P and I, this was accentuated just a little bit more, but you get to see that in the manual. But the box art just isn't much to look at. The building process of the Repair 2 is very familiar with Exia. Matter of fact, 90% of this kit is the Master Grade Exia. You'll only be getting a few new pieces for the back thigh armor, shoulder armor, waist armor, and most notably the GN Sword Kai. So when you build this, you're going to be very reminiscent of Exia, nothing out of the box, and it's still a very good build for a late 2000s Master Grade. It's long lines up there with Wing Gundam or any Master Grade that came out around that area. There are a couple of noticeable seam lines and maybe a few bad nubs, but nothing that couldn't be cleaned up with a brush or anything of that like. The look of Exia here is pretty much a note for note perfect copy of the anime. I can't think of any other line except maybe the metal wheel that could capture Exia perfectly like it did in the Master Grade. Everything is in accurate colors, it looks marvelous, the new pieces blend in very well with the overall aesthetic of Exia, and that GN Sword Kai just illuminates very well in that clear green. It looks great, all the colors are in the correct color palettes, and this just looks like a really good Master Grade, just out of the box. There isn't much work you have to do to make it even look better, it just looks perfect as Exia. It's very recognizable and you know maybe with a few modifications you know this is Exia. As you know the Exia is one of the more ambitious master grades when it comes to articulation. The Exia Repair 2 is no different as like the Astray, Bandai definitely went out of the way to design this from the ground out to be one of the most humanoid posing model kits that they're out there at the time for master grade and it gets most of the essential poses well done. I will say that a lot of the more dynamic poses with the arms is improved due to the fact that this iteration of Exia doesn't have the GN power cables on the shoulders like it did in the original, so you can get a little bit more dynamic posing with the hands. However, only the ankles have a small improvement. The back part of the thigh has a more tighter connection with the polycap than the original. However, the connection itself just isn't still strong. You will have moments where the Exia out of nowhere will fall flat on its face and you're wondering what in the world did I do wrong here? Why is this, this thing not standing? In spite of that, there were a few modifications that were made to improve it, but it still suffers from some of the aspects of its original source material. When it comes to accessories, it really depends on what you consider a bonus or a minus. If you're expecting every single one of the accessories that are on this kit, every single accessory for the original Exia is here. However, you do not have any storage on the kit itself to place the, the GN long sword and the GN short sword. Unfortunately, those were taken away in the hip design of the Exia Repair 2. However, you can build them. Every single accessory in the original Exia is available to you, except maybe the GN Sword 1. Also, in place of the GN Sword 1, you get the GN Sword Kai, which is my personal favorite. I'm sorry, I have a little bias towards it because I love the GN Sword 3 on the double riser. So seeing that integrated into Exia is just a popping moment for me and was a selling point for me to even get the Master Grade Exia Repair 2. Everything is here. You get two beam saber handles, GN long and short blades, and you get the GN sword. So there you go. If you want all of the accessories from the original, they are here, but you have no storage on the kit. For me, the fun factor of this kit is just having it. 
But beyond that, you can do a lot of great poses and you do get some improvement with it. You get a ton of accessories that are available to you. You get a lot of fun having to pose it together along with the other Gundams 1100 or Master Grade from the 00 series. And it's just gonna blend well into your collection. Honestly, when it comes to posing, you do have to be a little bit more practical, but as soon as you get it on the action base, while not the strongest connection out there, you do get a few more bonus posing. And as well, if you're just a big fan of Exia, why wouldn't you have this in your collection? It's another Exia. It's a version of Exia which I happen to find as a slight improvement over the original, and the original was fairly good in terms of a model kit. If you don't get the Exia Repair 2, will you miss it that much? Honestly, no. I think it really falls on the part of whether or not you're a fan of Gundam Double O and you want every single one of sets in this case. That is really the defining marker whether or not you want to get this kit. There are a ton of third party versions of this where you can get it at a cheaper price. However, I will note that the Exia Repair 2 is one of the easier Bandai kits that you will be able to find. I was able to get this for about $70, which is double the original price of the original Exia. Well, yes, that might freak people out. You do have to understand that this is P Bandai. Unless you're in Japan or in Asia, getting a P Bandai kit is going to be harder to find, which may also be a defining factor whether or not you get this kit. For me, I'm happy to have this kit. Is it very remarkable as a Master Grade on its own? No, it's very by the standards, especially since its source material is about a decade old at this point. Wow, Exia came out 10 years ago? Oh my god. Still, it's a great kit to have. It's a slight improvement over the original, and I just love having it as a collector. I would implore someone if they're a big fan of Exia or Double O to get this, but if you're not dying to have more than one of each of Setsuna's Gundams, if you just want Exia, Double O, and Quanta, I don't think you're having a big itch to get this. However, if you're a little bit of a completionist like me, I say go and get it because I don't think any other version, third party or official, outside of the metal build can replicate Exia Repair 2 just as well. For that way, I'm 101R Smith and I will see you later.